people. Joining us now, I want to go across to Sanjeev Mehta, Chairman and Managing Director of the Hindustan Lever Limited and the President of Unilever South Asia. Uh, Sanjeev Mehta, you can see the change, the impact the campaign has had uh, on life just by hearing Noor and Diksha's story. This is so commendable. What is uh, the, the Dove Stop the Beauty Test campaign? How exactly did it come about? We see its impact today, but how did it start? Hi, good evening, everyone. And my greetings good to evening. all the NDTB viewers. Uh, first, I would like to thank NDTB for joining us on this campaign. And I would say in many ways on this crusade. And, uh, you know, I would uh, certainly like to congratulate Diksha Singh and know what brave women they are. And uh, these are the women who are trendsetters, who are pioneers, and they will help in changing the society. Now, coming to Stop the Beauty test campaign, uh, Dove has always been on the platform of real beauty. And uh, we had conducted a study in partnership with Hansa Research. And it clearly bore out that uh, nine out of 10 women in India feel that they are judged and rejected based on their looks during the marriage process. Now, this is very unfortunate because uh, beauty should be a source of confidence and it should not push women into depression or it should not become a source of anxiety. Now, our campaign intends to question this unfair beauty test that women are subjected to. Now, Dove, as you know, across the world has been on this uh, platform of real beauty. But this is the first time we have uh, done the research and got deep insights and we are bringing it to the fore and which is so relevant to our country's context. Now, Dove wants to inspire women each woman is distinctive. Each human being is distinctive. We would want them to lead the life and be happy about who they are, what they do. And uh, this should go together with women's empowerment. And this is about real beauty. And we have to get away from the stereotypical definition of what constitutes beauty. I live in a household surrounded by three women, my wonderful wife, Mona, and we have twin daughters, Nana and Roshni. And our endeavor has been to bring them up in a manner that they are confident of who they are, what they do, what they pursue. And that's the journey we are on. So I'm very passionate about this subject, be it women's empowerment or be about stopping this beauty test, which is so unfair to women. Really, Sanjeev Mehta, I, 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 this is just such an excellent campaign. I, I really take my hat off. It is, a, it is really wonderful and extremely moving to hear real-life stories. Um, what was the uh, uh, thought behind featuring and sharing stories of real women? Because I'm really certainly moved already by listening to uh, two of them. Oh, absolutely. And the stories are so powerful of Diksha and Noor. And uh, yeah. first, Dr. Roy, uh, thank you for being on this program. I'm so delighted to see you. No, it's a pleasure. It's an honor. It's an honor. Now, Dove as a brand has always been talking about championing real beauty. And uh, as a company, we are on a journey of uh, being on a positive beauty journey of inclusive beauty. And uh, Dove portrays women as they are, we never Photoshop, we never do digital distortion, and uh, we feature women as they are. Now, in India, mm -hmm. now understanding that this is a real big issue, so Dove has taken upon itself to bring about the change, and I believe uh, together with uh, organizations like right. MDTV, together with the Brave Girls, like Diksha and Noor, we can begin this journey, we can do the change and uh, make India a far more inclusive society. 
Now, we are also working with some fabulous partners like Shadi.com, Times Matrimonial, and also magazines like Femina and Grazia to what I would call as broaden or widen the mm-hmm. definition of beauty, which is so stereotypical and narrow today. And we want young women to be confident, to take up the challenges, to be part of India's growth journey and not be pulled back by stereotypical images, stereotypical definitions. And we would not like the self-esteem to be in any way be impacted. And uh, you would be aware, I would hope, that uh, Duff has also been working on a self-esteem project with UNICEF. And uh, we intend to impact right. millions of women positively through this campaign as well. And you will. You know, if I can put my economist hat on for a minute, all e- economic studies show that if you invest in women in India, our growth rate will be much higher than any other investment. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You, you know, there were also studies done in the U.S. Yeah. that uh, just think yes. of it in a country like U.S., their GDP would go up by a certain percent points if they were to give fair representation to women. If that could happen in U.S., Quite you right. can imagine the potential in our own country. Absolutely. Huge. Yeah.